I wanna be inside your diary Inside your diary What's up everybody, it's a new week and it's a new day and I am here again Oh god, I don't know what's been happening to me Why I go and stay for so long But don't worry, we're working on a surprise for you And that's why sometimes we need to lay back, yeah? It's really, really hot this week Because this one got everybody freaking out over social media Hey, you know what we're talking about? This week, a few days ago, Techno was on an interview session With one of the great major personalities of Nigeria and YouTuber Daddy Freeze, as he's known Of course, Daddy Freeze is somebody who has been doing a lot of interviews for entertainers and stuff in Nigeria this time the guest on his show was techno but is that important to us of course not we're more concerned about our Cameroonian entertainers right well come on techno is involved in this one he's totally involved do you remember a couple of months ago when we spoke about the Johnny Walker music concert that was organized in Cameroon that was headlining techno and Jogi and then you had Kosi and Miss and Shura yes okay let's take it down memory lane for a bit during this concert Jovi Put the crowd. No doubt. In fact, at the end of the concert, people were saying stuff like the Mboko Gang and the Mboko God did an amazing job putting us on the map again and making us headline over the weekend. Mr. Leo even went on tweeting and thanking Jovi for making this happen. That for the first time, an international artist came to Cameroon. They were talking about our own and not the international artists. Yeah, you remember all of that? We spoke about it in one of our shows. But then, what is going on? Why is that news anymore? Well, I'm going to pour that to you. On that very interview, we spoke about that Techno was having with Daddy Freeze. Techno made a revelation that blew everybody away. And trust me, hell broke loose as far as our entertainment industry is concerned. And this time, like, I really blew through everything. So, like, I needed that human show because that show was paying me $110,000. Paying me $110,000. Like, that was weekend. So, it's either you do that surgery or. Techno said during that weekend that he was here for the Duwala concert and of course that which was organized in Yaoundé he was paid $110,000 and I was like what? What are you saying? $110,000 guys come on man I'm talking about dollars if you didn't get me very well this is not Frank CFA this is <laughs> the American dollars is that all that drove me crazy? I had to go to my calculator and do a little conversion to get it so I don't have a heart attack yeah but that's when the heart attack almost came because you know, $110,000 is like 65 to 67 million CFA. So people in Cameroon can actually organize shows with this much money. Is that what's making news? No, that's not what's making news. He's an international artist. He came to Cameroon. I was paid that amount of money. What was making news was what? 237 Show Me is a Cameroonian blog released after making the revelation of Take No's amount. They also released a list of other artists in Cameroon, what they were paid during this show. And guess what? 237 Show Me says, I am not very certain where they got this information from because it wasn't made official on any platform, okay? So I'm only reporting this with respect to what 237 Showbiz said. They said that the Moko God received 2 million and Minx and Kosi had 1.5 million and Shura was given 500,000. And just for the record, let me clarify something. All of this amount of money I'm calling right now is in CFA, Hey, Yes, it's not dollars. I wasn't saying $500,000 for Shura, I mean CFA. And trust me, Africa I was very, very disgruntled. And was I the only one who was angry after this news came out? Of course not. Numerica, Malox, everybody, every artist who saw this was freaking out. And that's what we're here to talk to you about. Man, no feedback, Ben and Mope, Did other artists respond? I mean, Kosi and Mings not tweeted anything, neither Shura. Yes, but Malox got so pissed off, and Malox had to do and announce a Facebook Live video, of course, which he went and had to vent out his anger. And pretty much every Everything that he has been harboring in as far as our entertainment industry and event organizers and show organizers are concerned. Hmm. 
Malok said he knows that some of his colleagues are very, very naive and very afraid to attack the system, but he can't just lay back and act as if nothing happened. That if they actually mention his name in some villages right now, some grandmothers are going to know, but they won't even know who Techno is. But then they decided to pay Techno 67 million CFA francs. And trust me, even our very first and best didn't even receive one tenth. I mean, one tenth is tied to that they give in church. That will have even been something to live up with. But this is super annoying and of course I understand the angle from which Malox is coming. Malox was very pissed and just for the record something that caught my attention during that period was also the post of Martin Eno. Martin Eno who works with Motherland Music who has been manager to Stanley Eno. You know Martin Eno for the first time did a post that concerned Jovi and didn't come at Jovi. Yeah because the issue of the money was way more important than all of the craze that normally happens between these two. Martin Eno wasn't happy he did an outline of all of the crazy stuff that is happening in our entertainment industry from the level of the government to the event organizers to the show organizers everybody concerned with the stakeholders in the entertainment industry what is going on how is it possible how can we explain that p square is going to come to cameroon and live with crazy sums of money and our artists go home with chicken change jovi also came to the johnny music concert with a band just like techno d he came with a band he traveled with this band all through both towns how is it possible that they are going to reverend an international artist over our own so the first artist who was responding wasn't even part of the concert and that was Malox. Malox went crazy in a live video he was very expressive talking about the fact that this is total disrespect to our entertainment industry even lady punks came talking about it but man i was waiting to see whether there was going to be an artist among those who performed who was going to come responding and lo and behold the mboko god the mboko god finally did and of course that's why i'm shooting this video twice today because when i was doing the very first segment of this show he had not said anything finally he spoke this is the first time jovi is actually going on a live video to react to something he won't come out and say anything on social media until he's worded right this was very important for him to clear the air but what did jovi say jovi said that there's no way possible that he can put powder on his face and wear a nice jacket and show up at a concert or show for two million that even if that two million was given to him as transport he wasn't going to take it even if it was seven million he wasn't going to take it that if he takes that kind of money how much was he going to give to his orchestra of course like I said it before, Techno came with an orchestra, so did Jovi. How is it possible they're going to give one person 67 million and give the other person 2 million? That's total disrespect, yeah? Jovi also went ahead to say that one of the reasons why artists in Cameroon are being treated the way they are treated with respect to pain or concert is because of the way the artists have branded themselves, yeah? Very low. Like, all artists are going to go for whatever small money they give them. Yeah, I know the country is hard and people need to eat, yeah, but we need to set our standards and pace, right? Jovi spoke during the live video and was sounding all excited and stuff but I know he was really pissed at what Malok said. For Malok to have believed that Book of God received 2 million. And trust me, when I spoke before, I was telling you guys that I don't know where 237 Showbiz got that information in the first place. To think that Jovi Lemons took 2 million. Yeah, during the live video, Jovi Lemons was answering to a couple of questions, or rather, he was answering a couple of questions that came from fans. I don't know why some people are keep bringing up the story of Pascal. Yes, I asked him, What's your relationship with Pascal? And he didn't make mention of the fact that he still. Pascal's father. Yeah, I didn't have any problem and stuff. This is crazy vibe. But what I don't understand in this live video is why Jovi had to bring Stanley's name in it. Why are you saying Stanley does not have money? Dude, this is about you. We're more interested in you clearing the air. Like, why did you have to say Stanley does not have money? And I'm going to let you watch part of this video for yourself so you can really understand. We took this video off Beamstar page. Beamstar was able to do a brief video of this because Jovi said, of course, that when he's done doing the live video, he's going to delete it immediately. Oh, uh, Pascal. Pascal is my son. That's all. I love Pascal. Pascal is my favorite rapper. That's all you need to know. Why? Je vais faire une snap. Il faut que je fasse une tournée snap. Que les snaps là s'alignent. Et oui, et qu'il se renseigne sur combien Jovi prend. Voilà. Et quand tu es un homme d'affaires, tu négocies un prix, on te donne le prix. Quand on te donne ce que tu as négocié, ça veut dire que c'est un bon deal. Si moi je viens, je négocie un deal, je dis que, oh ouais, euh, donnez-moi 20 bâtons, par exemple. Et moi je découvre après qu'on a donné à l'autre la, personne 30 bâtons. Et moi j'ai demandé 20 bâtons et on m'a donné 20 bâtons. Moi je gère les 30 bâtons d'une autre personne, pourquoi les, les artistes camerounais ne se soutiennent pas. Si tu dis à les artistes que t'es non, nous ici, là, comme ça, là, on ne fait plus les shows. 
Men de detox e o jovi kandu show bo bush, kandu show bo bush. Men o pe mi amos. Men o pe mi amos di man. And I'm just, I ever look all the artists. I even look the artists. There's some small artists who really talk. I look the man, I see how the man here bad. I say the man talk so now with it. When I be saying that he get money, when I be saying that man, they call and say, Stanley, so he get dope. Tu pas en train de défendre la musique camerounaise. Tu défends la musique camerounaise rien que quand tu commences à faire la musique camerounaise. C'est comme ça que ça se passe. Like I said before, live video is not one of its things. But you had to do it to clarify the air. What is happening with our entertainment industry? So much drama. I really, really love to know your reactions as far as this is concerned in the comment section below. Tell us what exactly you think about this kind of preferential treatment that are given to international artists and us are left to eat the crumbs. You know how it is? If you love what we give you every week and you love how we serve you what is hot, do not forget to follow us on our several social media platforms. And hey, I'm not going to to leave this place until you click the red button below yes click it right now i'm always here to give you what's hot and what's not it's your boy Karawa. any my neck the carry head any in my head the carry sense check 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 in the sense check 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 in the sense man don't the check inside the game Man no fi beg, ben em up pay. Man a me the work on a holiday. Why I get for work when they know the pay? Tin they know the balance inside my head. Till they did my balance no pay.